Melvi Broadcasting Network, a divine voice out of Africa. Remember to like, to subscribe, and to click the bell. When you read the Bible from the book of Luke chapter 13, verse 6 to verse 9, Jesus gives a parable of a fig tree, a man who had a fig tree that was planted in the vineyard. And the Bible says the man came looking for fruit and didn't find any. And the word was that it must be cut down because it belabors the ground. And before it was cut down, the owner of the vineyard asked if he can be just given one more year to prune it, to cultivate it, and thereafter, if it's not fruitful, to cut it down. Let me come to you, my friend, and say, you are that fig tree. You are uniquely positioned in the vineyard. You do not belong there. When people clear fields for the vineyards, they normally don't leave any trees. They clear the whole ground because vines need direct sunlight. But you were spared, uniquely left in a field of vineyards as a fig tree. You are giving shadows and shades and, and, and compromising the vines that are around you. Let me tell you this, my friends. God has spared you where many were chopped out. God has uniquely blessed you where many are not blessed like you are. As the farmer tends his vineyard, you also benefit from the tendering of the vineyard. You are uniquely positioned and you are uniquely different because your root systems and the way you extract water is much deeper than the roots of the vines. God has positioned you and made sure you are founded on firm ground and well-watered ground. You are highly favored. God says you are unique and different in terms of your fruits. The vines produce grapes that are crushed, but you produce nice, juicy figs. Here is the challenge. The challenge is that as uniquely positioned as you are, as highly favored as you are, as uniquely founded on the ground as you are, there's one problem. You are not fruitful. The owner visited the fig tree. Let me tell you, my friends, we are visited by powers in the heavenly places. We are visited by principalities of the heavens and of dark altars and places, they come to see what fruit we have. The master also comes near. I am reminded of the other fig tree that was by the roadside, that Jesus saw the leaves and went by looking for fruit. And when he could not find fruit, he said, you are cursed with the curse. No more figs will come from you. The very next day when they passed by that road, they saw the fig tree already dried. Let me say, my friends, we are visited for judgments and for evaluation of our characters and what we are producing. God visits us. Blessed are those who shall be found with fruit. What fruit are we talking about? Yes, it's a fig tree, but what fruits are expected from you? Galatians chapter 5 says, God expects love. God expects meekness, joy, peace, patience, or long-suffering from you, my friends. What fruit is coming out of your mouth? What fruit is coming out from your mind? What fruit is coming out from your emotions and the seat of your mind? God expects you to be fruitful because if you are not, and when your master visits you, judgment is upon you. But let me also tell you this, my friends, God is so gracious because you are uniquely positioned you are uniquely favored. You are uniquely grounded. God comes looking for fruit and when he doesn't find it, here is the favor of God for this fig tree, unlike the one that was on the road. This one was given one more year. This one was given additional grace. God has not cut you off from the living. He has given you more time to hear this message. He has given you more time to have more of His Spirit. 
what are you going to do with it? Because your time is limited. You don't know the day the master will return for his fruit. Be fruitful and multiply. And Jesus says, if you are not in me, John chapter 15, verse 5, you can do nothing. You are a branch plugged into the real fig tree, which is Christ Jesus. Today, my friends, I'm calling you. You must know you are uniquely positioned. You must know you are uniquely favored. You must know you are uniquely positioned and God expects, expects fruit from you. Be fruitful. Grow and produce a fruit that will keep you in that position. And remember, Jesus said any tree that's fruitful, he trims it. Now you understand why you have to be cut, why you've got to lose certain friendships, certain relationships, certain things in your life must be lost out because God wants you to be fruitful. He is pruning you. It's a painful process to lose a branch, to lose part of you to lose part of your life, but God says, I'm doing that so that you can be more fruitful. Be fruitful and multiply. God bless you.